Feral hogs have become a growing problem in the United States and are a danger to the environment because of their growing population rate, their destruction of property, and their lack of natural predators. Because this problem is growing bigger and bigger each day, the only sensible way to get rid of these creatures is to hunt and eradicate them. Some people might be against this idea, but at this point, eradicating the hog seems to be the only way to solve the problem. First, I'll be talking about why these hogs are such a growing problem. Feral hogs can reproduce at an extreme rate, and this causes the population to grow very fast. In research done by Scott Stump, he found that feral hogs are capable, to, capable of producing two litters each a year, averaging about eight piglets in each litter. These hogs also do an extreme amount of damage. Hogs feed on the roots of crops and other plants by, do, by digging their snouts into the ground just below the surface and feeding on the roots that are growing underneath it, uh, underneath the surface of the earth. In big groups like herds of pigs, feeding, feeding in one area, this can do a lot of damage to farmland and cost a lot of money towards farmers and ranchers. Sometimes these pigs also kill and feed on livestock and other smaller animals as well. Feral hogs also have no natural predators. Grown hogs have few predators because of their size, strength, quickness, and a thickened layer of skin around their vital organs called the shoulder plate, which is developed from fighting other hogs, and this gives the hogs more protection from other hogs as well as other animals which would potentially be predators. These mature hogs can grow to be more than 200 pounds and have razor sharp tusks from the constant gnawing of food between their teeth. These tusks are an extremely dangerous and a, a great fighting mechanism that keeps predators away. What I propose to help control the feral hog population is to use extreme hunting techniques such as aerial hunting and toxic baiting to decrease the amount of feral hogs. By using these two techniques, the pig population can be rapidly decreased, which would help to control the ever-growing feral, feral hog population and therefore would, be, would cause less damage and potentially cost a lot less towards farmers and other ranchers down in that area. Because these hogs can reproduce so quick, so, Reproduce so quickly the solution needs to be done quickly as well, which is why I propose such extreme measures such as aerial hunting and toxic baiting Why I think this proposal is best is because of research done according to a guy named Lidauer Aerial hunting is an effective means of eradication because it can kill a lot of animals at one time and it doesn't harm any other species because you can clearly keep an eye on the specific species that you are hunting. Lidauer also explains that toxic baiting is an effective way because it is the most cost effective. Lidauer cites a study done in Australia where toxic baiting was used to handle wild pigs growing in Australia where it, they found the that toxic baiting was actually 11 times cheaper than any other method but like such as aerial hunting by like renting a helicopter or something like that and this research also found that other species weren't harmed because the bait could be specialized into certain foods that grow underground which the hogs would have to dig up with their snouts to feed on so it was actually the safest and most cost effective. In conclusion, feral hogs are a growing problem, and the only way the problem can be controlled is by hunting them. Sometimes the only way to solve a problem is to use extreme measures.